Hello guys, Aishman here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to remove uh, how to remove and apply thermal paste to the north bridge and the south bridge. You usually have to uh, remove it because the uh, the custom paste and uh, because the custom cooler only use the thermal pads like this one here, and they are usually of cheap quality. So you have to remove them with uh, and ex and remove uh, change them with some good thermal paste like this one right here. Okay. So the part uh, on the motherboard which usually has the company's logo on it. Uh, you can also check online for more, uh, check online on your particular motherboard which is the north bridge is in my case this is the mother uh, this is the north bridge and a bit down in the here is the south bridge in the, in new york motherboards they are connected with the pipe but mine is a bit old so there is not a connection so basically i will first teach you how to remove the north bridge and the south bridge i have removed the south bridge already so remember always hold your uh, motherboard with the f uh, cpu fan don't uh, don't use the motherboard straight it can cause damage to the pins so here you can check these white parts you can check at the back of them the corresponding parts there you go they are they are the okay so you can use anything particularly you can use plus but plus would be a bit hard for your motherboard i use plus so you have to squeeze these parts and you have to press them and push them both at the same time as there is some gap between them and they are latched and uh, they are latched in the motherboard so you have to press them and push them both at the same time okay so here's the north bridge okay and i have removed the south bridge already you can remove that as well i have changed the thermal paste of north bridge already so i'm i'm going to show you the south bridge it's just the same process just you have to remove the north bridge as well here's the north bridge first of all here is the uh, thermal pad the cheap quality company usually gives so in my case it's easy to come off but you have to actually remove it even with your hand and you can also use a thinner like this you can use thinner you can use alcohol rubbing alcohol only and you can uh, use other things like perfume and if it uh, if you cannot remove it so easily you can always use some thinner first of all we remove it from the south bridge remember to only keep it on the chip I am using a napkin, but preferably use a uh, silk cloth. That is easier. So this one can leave some, you know, bad parts behind. Mm. Like in this case, some fabric is left. Okay, so you have to remove it. If it doesn't go with this, you can even use your nail, but gently. So I have to reapply some alcohol. There you go. It isn't coming off exactly, so I'll be using my nail. So it's done. And now for the heat sink, guys. Here the here is the heat sink. This black part here is actually the thermal pad. So you can use some alcohol to remove this as well, but this will take some time. You can rub it a bit hard. Heat sink is not so sensitive as the chip. Also, if you are rich enough, you can use a custom uh, aftermarket cooler, but I'm definitely not. So, guys, here you can see I have removed the thermal pad, and now I have to close back the thinner. Okay, so the chip is clean, and so is the thermal uh, this heat sink. So you can actually use your uh, your any gel you like. I prefer this one; it has diamond particles in it, as claimed by the company. I cannot tell you. So there are many methods of applying the thermal gel. There is the straight line method, P method, but since the chip is too small, I can only use the P method. And also, even my CPU, I prefer the P method. So what you do is at the very center. You drop a bit of the gel in the shape of a P. That's it. Okay. Remember to seal your thermal gel very tightly. You don't want to waste all your bucks you spent already. If you get some on your hand, it's not a big concern. You can always wash it off. Now comes the part where you put back the south, put back the south bridge in the heat sink. Remember, make uh, so that these parts. 
a matching with these so that they can go perfectly inside and once you have to, uh, had the contact between the heat sink and the chip you cannot remove it without applying the uh, heat uh, without applying the thermal gel again you can hold it by the cp fan as i told you already and place it perfectly okay press it a bit so that the spare uh, so that the gel gets spread out and then you have to in my case you have to push it uh, and in case of msi and other motherboards there's actually a screw there you go and i'll press this yes so that's done the process is same for the nerd bridge as well you remove this part you remove the thermal pads the cheap quality company always gives and then you put the thermal gel on like this and then you put it back that's about it and you have a new and better better cooling motherboard with you thank you that's it